Naomi Nicasia en ik wil uh, mijn haar donkerblauw. Donkerblauw. Naomi wants donker blue. dark blue. Donkerblauw. That's nice. Naomi, you will you turn for you and the rest of the world to show what your hair is now? And it's a lot of hair. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do that job. Hello friends on YouTube. I'm going to do her hair and this is uh, quite a bit uh, of a job. She wants uh, dark blue, so first I have to lighten the color a little bit, so that's what I'm starting with. Put all the protection and then we're going to do that job. Of course start with a towel. And a color cape. And this is the first time she goes to a hairdresser. Her aunt does always the hair. My world famous plastic foil. Put my own protection. And then I'm starting to apply the bleach in the back, working up. And tell you what I put into the bleach. Okay, starting in the back. The natural black hair is always a little bit dry. It's uh, totally different than the white hair. And what I made there is a bleach of uh, Siebel. There I put in a deep conditioner of Rover hair. I always love to work with conditioners. And just applying it, you can put it all over her hair. And because the deep conditioner is in, it's blue bleach. And I also put in uh, Faria Blonde of Swaskov. This to get out all the yellow tones if there are even coming yellow tones, it's also different on black hair. I don't have to lighten it up a lot, just a little bit. And that's why I put in the deep conditioner. Massage the bleach into the hair. Stay away a little bit from the skin, because that's the most irritating part. And because it's a dark blue, I don't have to color it in totally to the skin. I just do that on top, not on the back, not on the sides. And the deep conditioner of Rofra makes uh, the product ultra creamy, so it's very easy to work it in and don't smell, uh, don't irritate the eyes or your nose. And you see the hair is a lot longer than we would white hair have, because then the length is the length, and nothing more than that. Afterwards we're going to straight it. Take some new parts on it. Put away the hair. So I work in all the bleach till I have no hair left to put bleach in. Now all the bleach is on. That took uh, about 25 minutes. It's a long time. That's why I also put a conditioner in it. Now I have to wait till it's light enough to make a blue color on it. So I close my plastic foil, put hairs nice out because then the warmth can get away, they get less damage to the hair. So you see us back in about 20-25 minutes. Okay, we're back. This took about uh, 30 minutes, then we rinsed it out, only rinsed it out, no conditioner. So you see that uh, even this hair is even strong and it's not damaged, but what I did was I made, the, this is the first line, and this I made with 6%, and this I made with 9%. All the product is with deep condition because we want a blue flame over our hair. So now we're going to apply the blue uh, color, it's uh, blue of uh, like me, and it's the 070, so it just brings a 
wonderful cobalt blue on the hair. To make it easier to apply the color on her hair, I put two brushes together with tape. So I can absorb more color into my brush and then bring it on. In this color is also a deep conditioner again. So I work part by part to apply the color. Okay, now all the color is on. This I massage into the hair. You see already the blue developing. It's a wonderful cobalt blue. This I leave on for 20 minutes. And then I rinse it out and then we're back to style this hair. And maybe even cut a little bit. It's a very thick amount of hair. <laughs> Took uh, uh, 150 milliliters of color with of course a deep conditioner in it because this hair needs condition otherwise you don't work on it take some color off the skin Again, I close my plastic foil and then we'll be back in uh, 25 till 30 minutes to show you the end result of coloring. And I'll blow my hands. I can be as blow on. Door the gaat er wel vanaf, toch? Yeah, zeker. Oh. Vlug een meisje ben is over. <laughs> Hello, we're back. Her hair is not black but uh, blue, it's a wonderful cobalt blue, but it's ultra large amount of hair. So what I'm going to do is to thin it out a bit, so I get more movement in the hair. Part it about 3 centimeters, I do this only with my hands because otherwise I can't tr get through the hair. Then we dry it and then we're going to do it with the iron and afterwards I make a new line in it because now it has no line. Take a, a very small thinning chisel so with small feet and by um, straightening the hair the ends are a bit dry so that's also better when I thin it out a bit. This I take off by every part so you have more yeah, less hair and more movement into the hair. It makes it wearing her hair also a lot nicer to do. And you take off the, the tension of the curls because the less uh, curls you have, the better the hair falls. Because together they are strong, but when you have less curls, it's, the hair is even a lot smoother and easier to work with. And so I travel through the hair. So there's no hair left, that's all I mean, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, I'm really happy that it's not off. Now I take off the dry ends just like I would do when I would normally cut hair. Then we're going to dry it first and then we're going to style it with a straight iron. But this is just to get off the ultra dry ends of the straighter to use the straighter. You see how wonderful is the, the nice blue on this side. 
and the dark blue on this side. So I will go over that. And afterwards I just have to restyle it and then we're ready. Now take up some water from the hair because while you go to do it with a straight iron, you have to get the moist out of the hair. Okay, her hair is dry. Now I'm going to straight it. Again, I start the neckline and work my way up. I made uh, my iron on uh, 230 degrees Celsius. Put on a protection of uh, Lanza. Don't want the damage there. First, I take it real straight down. Take my iron, hold the hairs straight. My class to the guys have. Oh, oh, you said okay. Yeah, you hold the hair straight out of the skin. Put iron on and gently go to the back. Try to pull as much in one time, so don't go over and over and over, but it's not good for the hair. It brings nothing. You go in one time over it, the hair behind it can seal by cooling down. So then you get straight hair. When you go over and over and over, the hair damages a lot and it don't brings nothing. Not that you get straighter hair. Every time put it on. Do you yourself also with the style that is so rustic? Yeah. That's the best, huh? Anders beschadigt echt je haar hier. Ja. Ik probeer ook niet zoveel heen te gaan. Misschien één of twee keer dan is het klaar. Ja, twee keer moet het plat zijn inderdaad. Ja. Okay, now I straight all the all the hair. Put in a, a wonderful oil of Lanza. This one. Already a little bit blue hands, but the ends are still dry, so that I'm going to cut up. Gonna make her a wonderful bob. The nice thing about oil of Lanza is that it's uh, restructuring the structure of the hair, so it brings more quality to the hair. Come with large teeth, I comb the hair. And the driest ends, because she straightened it a lot, are on the back. But I only can see one after I straightened the hair. I show you that, and then they are make a bob. The blue is wonderful. The dry ends are this way. The dry ends are this way. Make it a little bit in an asymmetrical line. Just taking off the dry ends and make it into a hairstyle. Come it once again. Start from the same line. Putting the upper hair over the under hair. I'm certain that she gets a flow into the hairstyle. Just bring it a little bit to the inner side because now I know that the inner side will bend so I have more 
carrots to the side. Now take out the cake. She has nice dark blue hair. Good. Okay, my love. You may show your blue hair to the world. <laughs> and thank you for modeling. Alsjeblieft. Graag gedaan.